Alrighty, so we've got two examples and the same technique is going to apply to both. We've got this confetti falling on screen and then we also have this still image that's a phone with a green screen background and then it's got a white background. Now what I will say is that a lot of times if you download an image or a texture or some kind of overlay that has a black background, a lot of times the way it's meant to be used is you select that background and then you're gonna to wanna to go over to the composite mode in your inspector tab over here. And you're gonna to wanna to change the composite mode to either add or more often than not, it will be screen. And uh, the difference between screen and add is that screen essentially converts darker areas to be more transparent and then add will it, it's almost like multiplying color values. So sometimes what'll happen is things will kind of glow when you do this. So I recommend a lot of times to use screen, but let's say, um, you know, I do screen and what you'll notice is that some of my images are a little bit transparent in here, which isn't exactly what I want. So let me show you real quick how you can deal with this. And, and the way that we are gonna tackle this is in the Fusion page. If you're newer to editing or newer to DaVinci Resolve, I promise it's not gonna be too bad. The way that we're gonna get into Fusion is you can either right click on your clip and go to uh, open in Fusion page, or if it's the uppermost clip on your timeline, you can also just click the magic wand icon. And again, if you've never used Fusion, I promise we're gonna keep it very straightforward and simple. The one thing I do normally do in Fusion is I'll collapse this left preview window by just clicking this rectangle icon up top here, and we're just gonna need to add one node. Hit Control and Space, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring up your tool menu. This is how we add in our effects and tools within uh, the Fusion page. And we're going to look for a Luma keyer. Anytime you're trying to remove or make uh, certain colors transparent, that's called keying. And so the type of key that we're going to look for is the Luma keyer. And what this does is it's going to hide brighter or darker areas. So what I can do is I can hit add on our Luma keyer. And at first we're not going to see anything, but that's because it's not connected to our little pipeline here. You can either hold shift and drag and drop it in. Or if you don't like that, just take this little line here, connect it to the yellow input. This is the primary input of our nodes. And then you're gonna take the output of this node, which is the little square knobby, and go back out to the media out. And immediately you see it removes the black background, but again, some things start to look transparent. So what we can do is we can play with some of the sliders up here to fine tune our Luma key. You can see if I drag this leftmost bound to the right, it's actually gonna start removing some of our lighter areas. Well, if I wanna bring back some of those lighter areas, I can move the rightmost bound back in. You can see it slowly is beginning to bring them back on screen. Now, if you zoom in and your, uh, your bound over here is starting to get a little bit fuzzy, we can start playing with some of the other things. So like the gamma will kind of expand the lighter areas a little bit for you. We can also just bring these edges in left and right with the contrast and expand, or excuse me, contract and expand slider. And then if you wanna soften the edges, we can use the blur a little bit. Fine tune this until you get whatever you like, but when it's all said and done, and I go back to the edit page, there we go. Now the concept of using a Luma keyer within Fusion is actually really powerful when it comes to compositing different things on I guess you could say more advanced compositions, but that takes us into the second example. And what if we've got a white background? Not only do we have a white background, we've got a green screen here. So this is gonna be a little two for one. Again, I'm either going to right click on this, uh, our media here and hit open in Fusion page, or I'm gonna click the little magic wand. And just like we did before, I'm going to click on my media in node now, hit control space and look for the Luma keyer. And because I had my media in node here selected, it's gonna add it into our chain already. What we can do because we've got a white background now is we can invert this. Boom, simple enough, right? And that's gonna flip the luminance values that it's keying. So again, if we wanna fine tune this and restore some of our colors, uh, we can just play with the slider over here. And I'm bringing it to the left a little bit and it looks like we still got a little bit of fuzzy. So maybe I do just a small amount of blur and then kind of contract it just a smidgen. That's a very detailed finger we got there. And that's looking pretty good to me. So it looks like we're just a little bit off there. Okay, 
That is looking passable for me. Now, there's other ways that you can do some like rotoscoping things to kind of fine tune this, but that's, we're not covering that in this video. The other thing that I would do is if we wanted to remove this green screen here, we needed to use another keying node, but we can't use the Luma keyer. We want to use a color keyer. And the one that I like to use is called the Ultra keyer. <laughs> So uh, when we bring in the Ultra Cure, it all of a sudden is bringing back our black background here. To get rid of that, what you need to do is you need to feed in the output of your Luma Cure into this blue input area of the Ultra Cure, or this would be like the masking area for this node. And that essentially takes information from this previous node and uses it to hide stuff in this new node, right? And now what the ultra keyer does, it's not gonna look so much for brightness, but it's gonna look for color ranges to hide. We wanna get rid of this green color range. Now you can use your sliders over here. And for the most part, that's probably gonna work pretty well for you. But a lot of times there might be like a specific hue or shade of a, a blue or green that you're gonna wanna select. So if these sliders over here don't work for you as well as they're working for me, I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks that you can do. And it, again, it might seem a little much if you're, you're newer to Fusion. So just, just follow along if you can. What we're gonna to wanna to do actually is we just wanna change the preview away from our output node here to something before that point. So you could either do the Luma Keyer or the Media In node. And depending on how many screens you have here, you either you can either hit the number one or two and it will preview that node on this screen. So if I were to hit two on our media in node, you see how it brings back our original image? That's because we're previewing this node and not the actual output. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go one node before and I'm gonna preview our Luma here. And now we can go to our Ultra here. We can go to our background color here and this is the color that's gonna try to key. I'm gonna click on the little, what would you call it? Like the color preview window. And then instead of using this, what I'm gonna do is click this button called pick screen color and then click that, hit okay. And at first you're not gonna see any change, but that's because we are previewing this node and not our actual output node. So if I hit two on your media out node, there you go. And now you have that color hidden. The reason we have to swap what node we're previewing is because let's say I reset this node real quick, right? If I try to go to this ultra keyer node, and click background color, pick screen color. <laughs> it's gonna struggle to figure out what color you want because as you're highlighting that color, it's trying to remove it at the same time. So you start just getting like really wonky uh, information. Sometimes you can get lucky like this, like it looks like it was able to pick, oh no, it didn't pick it up. All right, well, that's why we do it. So whenever, you, whenever you're doing something with the Ultra Keyer, I normally swap what nodes I'm previewing and then go to my Keyer node and now I'll go pick screen color and then you swap your preview back. Now, if we go back to the edit page, we are good to go. Again, this is something I remember struggling with when I first started out. So hope this helps you guys. And um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.